welcome to Vlogoween day eight. So, uh, getting a late start today, uh, as per usual when I'm off, because uh, who the hell is going to wake up at five in the morning? Not me, but I did wake up at 6.30, even though I went to bed kind of late. My hair is a little crazy. I've been washing dishes. I made breakfast. I started laundry, etc., etc. Let's get into it. Day eight of Vlogoween. This is the Stitchy Box. Uh, let's see. What do I have? Oh, sure would help if I was capable of opening it. Day eight. We've got a limited edition Gentle Arts. Uh, I don't know what the colorway is. Oh, okay. Gentle Art Limited Edition colorway for the uh, Gentle Art. I don't know why they call it Gentle Art ST. Stitching? Oh, sampler threads Ugh. for your Halloween stitching palette. Um, probably gonna have to go ahead and insert a picture. It's quite variegated. It's like almost green, yellow, and orange in some spots. So it's kind of unique. I've never seen anything like this. Um, so I will insert a picture here. Okay, moving on to 31 days of Haunted America. If the pattern continues, I'm assuming that the next thing in here will be a piece of fabric and it certainly feels like a piece of fabric for the, um, oh, I was gonna cry if I didn't get a story. Um, this is probably a piece of fabric for our, uh, uh, lady that we unboxed two days ago. Um, it's a pretty color. I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's kind of natural, not my vibe, you know, but it'll work for her. So Willow's Weep House in Cay Cayuga, Indiana, located in Cay Cayuga, Indiana, so it's a house that has a horrifying past. The house was featured on History Channel's show The Unexplained in 2019, where they dubbed this house the most haunted in America. So why is it called the most haunted house in America? First of all, look at it. It looks like an upside down cross, which is pretty creepy and definitely not a floor plan you see super often. Willow Weep is the name for name of the Indiana home that said to sup, that said to be super haunted and when you hear the reasons behind the hauntings it definitely makes sense that this place is considered one of the most haunted places in America. The owner of Willow's Weep, Brenda Johnson, spoke to the cast of the Unexplained in the episode they did on Willow's Weep where she talked about all the tragic history of this house. According to Brenda, this house has seen more than its fair share of death. The original builder of the house died inside. There have been a few suicides that have taken place in this house, and according to Brenda, three men had been poisoned inside the house. Brenda said since she bought the house and has been putting work into it, she has heard all kinds of banging noises and even had unexplained scratches on her. Spooky. Okay, next up we've got Disney Villains Day 8. So these two and the brown paper bags were um, from Fangirl Fibers and the Gentle Art Thread was from Stitchy Box. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. And we've got another needle miner. Yeah, needle miner. Cruella de Vil, 1961. Look at that. Simply gorgeous. Look at that. I love it. Okay, so. Um, this, this vlog's kind of probably going to be, oh, did I insert a picture of this? I'll do that now. This vlog's kind of probably going to be a quick one because I have many things that I need to get done today so that I can have a chill day tomorrow. Um, I've got a lot to take care of. I've got a load of laundry that I need to switch over probably any minute now. Um, I need to do another load of laundry probably and um, I've got a sink full of dishes I need to do from breakfast and from the night before. Um, I want my house clean. It was just clean on Wednesday and that's what's so frustrating is like, oh, my house just keeps getting messy. Anyway, um, 
what do I have planned for the day? Um, I might go to a friend's house for dinner. We might, like, make a potluck kind of thing for dinner. Um, oh, I went live last night and I shared some of the sneak peek photos for my wedding. Oh my god, my eye is itchy for some reason. And it's not even like I just woke up. But anyways, I've been up for, like, at least two and a half, three hours. Um... What was I saying? Oh, I shared some of the sneak peek photos for my wedding, you guys. They make me so happy. If you're interested in watching that video, it's an hour, basically, of me showing the same photos over and over and crying a little. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and close out this clip. If I feel like inserting something else, I will. If not, I might just keep it short today. Um, just because I have so much going on and I really need to focus on fixing my life. In other news, 31 minus 13, if I say that the 31st gets the 13th one, then that's 12 from 30 is 18, right? Somebody correct my math in the comments down below. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and close it out because I really need to, I really need to focus and get my life together fix my hair maybe probably not though what the hell is this I put um some styling product in it and then I went to sleep so that's why this is the way that this is okay thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you like me you'd like to see more for me oh my treat for the day is um pear hibiscus water sparkling water it's got caffeine in it super good uh, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you like me and would like to see more from me, please hit subscribe. I'd be so happy to have you. <sighs> Alright, I hope that you are being safe, washing, and taking care of yourselves. Bye, y'all.